Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this episode of Second Home. Today we bring you a very unique episode where we talk about different professionals such as landscape engineering, a geologist and some uh, people who manage this beautiful nursery that I'm standing in right now. I would like you to know these people better because they are the ones who keep our beautiful Kuwait so green and so clean. It is with their help and the Ministry of Electricity and Water that we live in this beautiful country, Kuwait. Today, let's find out more about how they decide which trees to plant, how they plant it, and how we can keep ourselves a little bit more healthy. Let's find out. Allow me to introduce to all of you Muhammad Zahid Hussain. He's a landscape supervisor and will help us understand more about how the landscaping in Kuwait works. Yes. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Uh, tell us, uh, let's start from the beginning. What does landscape really mean for those of us who don't uh, understand the term itself? Landscape means beautification of lands with plants like as palms, hmm. trees, shrubs, Hays, mm -hmm. ground cover, and also flower. I that see. is called landscape. I see. So, your landscape supervisor, you make sure that the end result of a landscape is going to look beautiful. Yes. So, you decide which plants go where and how many, how much quantity and stuff. Actually, landscape uh, for landscape, mm -hmm. uh, as per design, mm -hmm. one soft drawing should be done. Then, my duty mm -hmm. as per drawing, I should plant, palms, okay. trees, shrubs, hays, hmm. but there should be a drawing and hmm. design, otherwise hmm. it will not be good landscape. Right, because it would be just really haphazard yeah. and yes. I see, you know I have met so many people with different professions and I have asked them how do they come to choose this profession. Be, uh, architects, uh, I have heard that they dream uh, when they are five years old they want to build buildings. So uh, for you, how, was, it, was this easy, was this matter of choice or destiny that you just uh, are in this profession? No, actually for this profession, hmm. uh, professional, uh, for professional activities we should uh, learn before as academic, academic, academic uh, qualification right. uh, like agriculture. Right. Otherwise, how we can do our job? Right. But why did you choose agriculture? Did your pair, were your uh, father or mother also involved in agriculture? Who introduced this idea? No, to in you? our country, education we have done uh, our education <laughs> as uh, agriculture. Right. Yeah. I see. So you you. I'm not going to ask this needless question, but I'm guessing by the fact that you love your job, you love uh, green plants too. Yes. All, all of greenery. Yes. Okay, so tell us this. If you have to select some plants, what is the basis of your selection for a landscape? 
how do you select as per location hmm. we should select okay. say shoulder hmm. we should uh, select one line pumps then uh, when you say shoulder you mean uh, street shoulder street shoulder okay. that is also landscape main landscape hmm. so one line pumps should be planted there then okay. back side trees hmm. should be planted there okay in front of trees we should uh, plant some shrubs then grass area or shrubs as uh, our land availability we should do that okay yeah. and what about uh, it sounds very uh, uh, strange that a desert like kuwait has all these trees growing on because it's a lot of my friends when they visit kuwait they, they tell me i mean uh, kuwait is a we thought was a desert but look at the greenery here so how does a desert type of sand manage all this greenery the soil is sand so yeah. how is it holding all these yes trees? for desert area when we want to make plants or uh, green then we should select some trees who is uh, sand loving plants like uh, tamarix acquisiti flora prosopis who is no need to give more water okay then we should select uh, ah. this plant i see what yeah. you mean like which are suitable for that type yes, of yes, yes. but Desire let's say area. let's say you just mentioned that a street shoulder should have palm trees yes so now you know you have to put a palm tree there even if the soil is not going to agree with the palm tree so do you have a kind of a place where you can change the soil or yes 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 before planting palm trees hmm. we should excavate pit as per specification then we should transfer the soil from the location and we should backfill that peat with agriculture soil mm. soil mix like uh, peat moss bioorganic npk then we can plant otherwise any any place we cannot plant a palm trees and that will not be good right yeah. because they have to after even after you plant you have to make sure that they sustain we themselves. should also use uh, irrigation for that uh, palm right what type of planting materials uh, what type of material do you use yes. to plant agriculture soil first hmm. then peat moss bioorganic and also chemical fertilizer hmm. npk okay these are all very technical terms um, when you say chemical fertilizer something that comes to my mind is um, generally they say pests for pest control when they put it's yes. not good for the people who are eating the plant so how dangerous is that uh, do do we have to use pest control in our plants here of course if we see any palms or any trees hmm. they are affecting with some pest or hmm. insect hmm. we should uh, use that uh, insecticide or pesticide like this but what about a regular vegetation that we actually consume the plants that we consume uh, how does that work is is that must be really difficult to control when pests take over right excuse me um vegetation the plants that we yeah. eat yeah yeah um is is that uh, difficult to manage because you have to protect them from pests but you can't put too much pest control because people have to eat those plants no we should uh, we should take care should. for vegetable we should uh, not use more chemical uh, chemical yes, or insecticides be because that will be harmful for our uh, body that is the biggest concern these days yes. um let me go back to landscape planting um mm. is just some thought that come uh, came to my mind right now about hybrid plants do you yeah. ever uh, you know get a chance to mix plants and come up with a brand new plant has that yes. ever happened say for palms hmm. that is tissue cultured palm tissue cultured palm yes okay previously we planted some uh, palms we select from uh, garden and we plant another place for landscaping but now hmm. tissue culture palm is supplied by pub okay so we are planting that tissue culture palm and tissue culture palm is bearing the characteristics of uh, mother palm that is the main uh, thing so uh, that's really interesting yeah. uh, genetically modified plants do you yes, have those yes. two <laughs> yeah these are the ones so what is the benefit of genetically modifying these plants it carries uh, characteristics of mother hmm. that is the main thing right if we make uh, some uh, trees with seedlings with hmm. seeds huh. that will not carry the uh, main characteristics of fruit ah. but if we use tissue culture or uh, artificial say cuttings right. it will bear uh, 
the same characteristics. Same uh, characteristics. Oh, that's and it will grow quickly. Okay. Yeah. And that makes a lot of sense. So uh, over the years, there must have been a lot of discoveries while you're working on this. Uh, you, it must be very interesting to find out all these new things, right? <laughs> and anything you can highlight for us? Yes. We Bangladeshis are working here together. Hmm. Also, hmm. there are some another nationality like Indians, like other nationalities. Right. As a supervisor, hmm. uh, we are working and hmm. uh, we should do something for better landscape here, better environmental condition here in Kuwait. Yes. Uh, so, uh, we are uh, happy that we are uh, rendering our service hmm. for Kuwait uh, green and Kuwait landscape hmm. and we believe that Inshallah, very soon ecological condition or environmental condition of Kuwait, it will be more good than before. Because yeah. after invasion, I have joined as a landscape supervisor. Hmm. Now I feel when hmm. I go anywhere, I feel everything, uh, every area is green. Right. We look some green in our uh, in our way to pass by. Okay. But before it was not like this. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, tell me this: Is it possible? Kuwait is experiencing a lot of dust storm, yeah. uh, like dust these days. I wouldn't call it a storm, but a lot of dust in the environment. Is it possible uh, that the solution to that lies in trees like growing more trees or maybe growing large now if, excuse my silly idea but it's just something that <laughs> i thought of like in whatever direction the dust is coming from let's say we you know grow a huge patch of green trees like a forest yeah. would that help dust not coming into kuwait actually for you are mentioning that uh, sand binding plants about sand binding plants Oh, I didn't know there were sand binding yes, plants. Yes, there That's are some new. sand binding plants. I see. If we plant uh, some trees like Tamarix equisitiflora, prosopis, huh. that no need too much water or no need too much care. Yes, they don't So around much. Kuwait, if we can plant it, huh. it will be more green and it will uh, control the destroy of sands or dust like this. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. I hope we can do that. <laughs> Thank you so yes, much. Yes, we are doing. We are yeah. doing. And we hope, inshallah, uh, more after uh, after uh, several years, inshallah, it will be Good green show. all over Kuwait. Inshallah. Yeah. We hope so. We hope so. We <laughs> shall try to do our best for Kuwait landscape. And for that, we all thank you from thank you from our audience today. Thank you for uh, sharing yes. your time and I your am, expertise. I am very much <laughs> happy to tell something about Kuwait landscape because I have uh, I have given my service uh, near about 25 years 25 as a landscape, years. Yeah, as a landscape wow, supervisor. Mashallah. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. We are now in conversation with Mr. Tapan Kumar. He is a geologist and is with the Ministry of Electricity and Water. Let us find out from him the inner workings of how it is that we get such a beautiful landscape here in Kuwait. Welcome to our show. Nice to chat to you and especially Kuwait TV. <laughs> Those who arrange and ask uh, about the greeneries, plants yeah. and water. Hmm. Actually, plants cannot think without water. 
and mm. I am working in the Ministry of Electricity and Water. Mm. Those who ensure the water mm. for any agriculture field and uh, agriculture farm, yes. even the household items, every house there is you no know, green is firm. So right. there is different types of water line hmm. for one for use for the agriculture purpose, hmm. one line is for water drinking purpose. Right. So Ministry of Agriculture and uh, what uh, uh, fisheries, hmm. they ask us, Ministry of MEW, hmm. we need this mass of water huh. for this area, for this field. Right. And this mass, this quality and quantity, hmm. they ask two things hmm. and uh, ensure the quantity hmm. and quality as well. So quality when you say is quality, very important. you mean the different type of uh, plants. plants require different quality of water? water. Yes. Ooh. Before, okay. there was only the d palm tree. Hmm. Palm tree can be grown up in the saline water. Okay. But other tree, they cannot survive with this saline water. I see. They need little fresh water. Oh, they so like us. Huh? Yes, they <laughs> okay. need fresh water because all the fresh water maximum plants, hmm. there is some limit hmm. for total dissolved solid, TDS. TDS, they yes. They have to mention the TDS, hmm. otherwise they will not survive, they will die. So I we see. ensure that, yes, if you want to go to the plantation this area, this way, hmm. we can ensure this water. Hmm. So we ensure this water hmm. for the different way. There is different water field in Kuwait. Hmm. And water field, we have produced the groundwater and we check the water, is this quality is suitable for this farm? Like Wafra. Okay. Why Wafra is all greenery is there? Yes, tell because me. I always Wafra is such a question. nice place. Huh. You, will, you make the water well there huh. and automatically water will come out without pump. Oh. Artesian wells and those who give the water or ensure the all farm there. And Bangladeshi I people, see. they come work there and they know how to get the water also out for, for use of the water. Right. So they bring their different uh, seeds and plants right. and they plant there and say this, yes, this is a fertile land. Hmm. Land is not actually more important than fertile. Hmm. They buy the landscape, they can make land fertile. Hmm. But what is important? Yes. What is offer you are getting? Yes. Abdali as well. Yes. Ofra is, uh, is has a place, if you make the water well, Automatically, what without like any an submersible oasis, pump, huh, in yes. the desert. without any submersible pump, water will come out, and which is used wow. for the agricultural purpose. And wow. this water quality is perfect for the green farm. I see. We don't do anything, not in any treatment or anything. I but see. other place, hmm. like now Kuwait City, we see different garden, hmm. in the green garden. Hmm. There is water. We are ensured the quality. We have right. to make some some uh, f uh, fresh water hmm. and the ground water we mix it up hmm. and provide them according to the ministry of agriculture and fisheries requirement I see. what they require for any like they before desert hmm. they make new new residential area hmm. like sabal ahmed city hmm. now motla new city hmm. the all city before city residential they need water yes the before making the housing sector new new housing hmm. they ask we need this much quality for agriculture purpose hmm. we need this much quality for the people purpose we ensure, yes, this is the calculation. Yeah. We make the pipeline from this place. We make the pipeline from this place. And for distillation plant, right. we see what they're using, the seawater. Uh -huh. We mix with that. For the agriculture purpose, this water will give. And for household use, purpose. this type of water is used. Right. And there is one big reclamation plant, okay. which is the biggest of these, uh, 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 these GCC countries. I see. Solibia water reclamation plant. Yes. What we are housed, we are using the water uh -huh. that go there and reclaim it, making it usable for the all greeneries. I see. So from there, we give the water for as well, which is provide the not only the water, they provide the nutrition of the plant as well. Of course, so, I mean, so well, is water the is uh, the life yes. source for a plant. So, so ministry can give the water, we tell there is water, but hmm. we need the electricity. Hmm. So electricity is with the water department. That makes so sense. So they can ensure, yes, we will be give near the pump electricity, this much electricity need, we will provide the electricity pump out this immediately. Much water and so one person sign, we can get the water hmm. and electricity at the same time. Right. Wow, Otherwise it is, we have to it go, is a yes. huge uh, yes. so process. Yes, Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries hmm. cannot work Without, without MEW. Yeah. MEW, water sector cannot work without electricity. electricity. So they are all, all together. Uh, yes, all together. depending on each other. Yes. And but another geographical setting also very important. Hmm. Why all agriculture field is Wafra? Due to water is available there. There. And water quality is very good right. for the agriculture power. That is there. Right. And Bangladeshi community people, those hmm. who are go to the back of the by word, they are all are agriculture loving people. Yes. They you go to the vacation, uh, yes. different types of plants, seeds, and how they grown up, even the soil, hmm. then the soil specification. Hmm. Soil specification is very important for the any plant to grow up. 
I so see. they mix up the different components of hmm. the soil and grow the plants. Well. You mentioned Bangladeshi community and before. Especially the for uh, uh, even pesticide. What types of pesticide? If, you know, there is in the winter season especially there is some rain, and there is what are these plants mainly grown up in that season, hmm. summer season, uh, winter season. So they usually the different. And Bangladeshi people there know how to fight against the different disease of plant. So why do you think the Bangladeshi community uh, knows so much about plants and ha have they been brought up like that? Yes, uh, when they grown up, all children, hmm. as I think and as I see, those who live village hmm. and the town, city as well, hmm. they love the plants right. because they see there is all things, the, what the household they need, hmm. they try to heavy set from their farm for the all plants, right. what they need for everyday needs. Yes. They don't heavy set to buy from the market. So they know how to cultivate the plants, hmm. how to take care of the plants, hmm. how to make the seed, and by the seed how to make the grown of the small baby f plants and grow it up. Right. So and how to handling the plants hmm. very nicely. Back to your profession. Uh, tell us more about um, the water consumption. I understand there is a huge need for desalination of water, obviously, yes. because a lot of water that is available here That's in Kuwait right. is salted coming yes. from the sea. So uh, you probably need a lot of electricity and a lot of energy goes into desalinization of this water. And I believe there were some scientists who were uh, asked to come from London a couple of months ago, whom I had also interviewed um, in this That's program, right. who were helping as think about ways to desaline the water with less uh, electricity. You are very correct. Every see, power plant, mm -hmm. every power plant, there is a big water desalination plant. All power plants close to the sea hmm. because they are using the sea water by the evaporated desalination plant, they, by the electricity, we have surplus of electricity. So by the electricity, the saline water mm -hmm. make it to fresh water and that fresh water is not enough for the supplying in different place. We have the huge groundwater field, yes. like mainly the Shagaya field, Salmi area, yes. Wafer field, uh -huh. the Slavia, there is water field, Atraf, there is water field. Okay. We have the water field from groundwater, hmm. we take the water from ground, mm -hmm. which is not suitable for the plant directly. Right. So from that water, we use the desalination for fresh water, okay. which is totally 100% fresh. Okay. We mix that two water huh? and supply that through the line. Ah, so it's Ministry less of, saline. Yes, less saline. I see. That is the thing. So we make the uh, uh, consumption level. Right. For water level, there is different how much TDS should be there, total dissolved solid. Hmm. What is the TOC, total dissolved oxygen? Hmm. It is very important things for that. Hmm. In sea water, there is total of sodium hmm. and chlorine, iodine, hmm. magnesium, manganese. So, which is not suitable for the plants. Yes. Plant can't survive on that water. And the reason why uh, layman oh. people like us now understand the term TDS is yes. because a lot of um, homes have got uh, filters yes. uh, for water TDS filters. filtration. And plant. they always yeah. come and check what you're. That's so, right. what is the ideal TDS for human consumption? For Hinza human consumption, less than, according to World Health Organization, less than 500 you can consume. Okay. Less than 500. But it is as less as possible is better. About 100. We are now the 100, 100 is, is, is very good. good. Okay. Yes. Like here in Kuwait, the groundwater is mainly the huge mineral water is coming. Even the distillation plant, that is 100% pure, pure. I see. But water in Kuwait, hmm. there is little more mineral, hmm. which is not get other place. I okay. See. Like here, another one, you see, Abdali also, there is a Raudatan bottling company. Yes. There is Raudatan bottling company, they are using the Dib Dib fermentation water. There is one layer hmm. there okay. that is like the calcium carbonate. Okay. That layer, if you put the water, automatically filter. Happen that formation. I see. There is no need artificial okay. uh, uh, filtration. Right. So Raudatan bottling company, there is written clear hmm. that is deep deep formation water, which is good formation for water preservation. Hmm. They just take it and keep it in the bottle. And we are eating the Raudatan bottling company. Right. And I <laughs> think they are provide the cheapest water. Cheapest. In this is the reason. You this know, um, in India, we have these um, pots made of clay. Yes, clay. And uh, the water that comes from that is supposedly really very, the best temperature and they say it's sweet. That's right. The clay has an impact on water too? Yes, clay have the very less porosity. There is porosity is there, but permeability is not there. Yes. Water is staying here, it cannot go the other place. Right. If you put the water here, the plant close to the plant, it will be there only. It will be there. But in Kuwait, if you put the plant water here, one drop of water, it will spread very far and go easily percolation to the down because porosity is more. 
I see. And per permission is, per, uh, this permeability is more. I see. That water is coming and going easily. It hmm. cannot absorb the water for long time. I and see. And clay, mineral is different, huh. which is good for the plants. And sand, hmm. there is no any humus. Hmm. That means sand is not the soil. Yes. Plant need soil. Soil. We have no soil. Right. Which that is the reason we need the landscaping, make the one meter by one meter, hmm. one and one half meter. Hmm. They need to the remove the soil, uh, remove the sand, sand and put the soil. Soil need all plants need the microorganism for their grown up. Right. So who is is provide they can born in the soil. I see. But sand it they will not be. Not. They cannot uh, and you know the earthworm. Yes. You will not see earthworm any sand. Yes. Earthworm now but in India, Bangladesh subcontinent. In the rain, you will easily see earth out there. Because, yeah, they ca life can't exist yes. in uh, sand because sand. it's so dry. Yes, dry. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for clearing that up for me. Um, also, because now, uh, now, now I'm thinking to uh, about the water that comes in through the sand. So, maybe that is also why the water is done from the top and they can't really expect to do water beneath the ground. Yes, uh, if ground. you will easily see in Bangladesh, India, there is, uh, if, they, if you put water one time in a day, hmm. it is sufficient for the plants. Hmm. But here, you need more than three times, hmm. especially from the top. What is that? Because water cannot have keep in the soil. Huh. Okay, so they need the top spread irrigation. Right. Which is give the evaporation. So the benefit of doing a top irrigation is that because if you're going to do it from down, then the sand is not going to allow the water to reach up to the plant. Yes, because you know the evaporation mainly happens from the leaf of the plants. Yes. Evaporation which is make the dry of the plants leaf. Right. So if you put the top, evaporation will be controlled by the leaf. They can huh. take some water through the leaf directly, not through the root. Root. Root also cannot ah, su supply that makes sufficient a lot water. Of sense. Yeah, I see sense. What you mean. That's if you put the trough irrigation, which is the absorb that camp the by the plants comes directly leave, into the leaf. leaf, they can save their life by I like see. we are showering. Right. That is the showering the plants <laughs> is control the oh, that evaporation makes a lot of sense. and give their life right. and give more fresh. Right. You mentioned electricity uh, and that it Kuwait has a lot of electricity. That's alhamdulillah. Right. Um, but uh, what? I believe Kuwait is looking at solar panels as well because every time I pass by, I think it's on the yes. uh, uh, 30 that I can see uh, solar panels lined up. Yes. Is that now for electricity? That is the latest power production system, power production system. Hmm. Now they are trying not depend on the this renewable, unrenewable energy. Hmm. What is the hydrocarbon? What they have, hmm. but they in, this is not limit. This is not unlimited. Hmm. Once upon a time, it will finish. Right. So they have to parallel up that they have to habituate how to use the natural because they have huge sunlight. Yes, Exposed sunlight, sunlight is for free and it's free. It's for everyone. So this solar panel, <laughs> they are want to use the solar panel for all sector. Even they are trying to submerge the pump without electricity. Hmm. They want to motor the generate the pump can run from groundwater. They want to take, right. but it's still now it is not sufficient energy we can get from the solar Sun. system. So it's a little far-fetched, but uh, right. they, uh, we are working on that idea. That is true. Because right. they, Kuwait is a developed country, they have to introduce the latest and new technology hmm. for every sector. Yes. Even they have planned to introduce the solar car even, I think, the next year. You will, you will hear these <laughs> different articles. Okay. But this is the amazing work. This is what is the uh, Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, hmm. MEW, hmm. Ministry of Electricity and Water, Water as well. They are like a, one family. Yes. They are helping each other. Each other. For for every sector, how to make with clean and develop in all respects. Inshallah. Not only one sector. Inshallah. Very happy yes. to know. Very happy to know. And thank you so much Same here. for I'm joining also very us. Happy. This was an eye opener for all of us. We learned very many new things. So thank you for that. And I wish you every success in all your future projects. And what you're doing here is uh, some great work. And thank you for keeping Kuwait so green and thank clean. Thank you so much for KTV. Their uh, emphasize the importance of Sasek crucial field like a, a agriculture greeneries which is the life how we grown up without agriculture things we cannot survive and that is more important now all the world they emphasize the green products plant products food mm. which is more healthy food as well yes so they every house they can produce their household things in their own house and they are thinking for that try to take the animal protein mm not animal protein, like the plants protein, Plant protein. and grown up 
healthy body in all respects. So I am thankful for KTV for emphasizing important for this field and invite me as well for this. Thank you so much. I am happy to <laughs> work with you a few minutes. It was our pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. This is all we have for today's episode. Today was all about highlighting the effort that goes into keeping Kuwait green. Our ministries, our government, uh, the landscape supervisors, geologists all put in their expertise and their effort to keeping Kuwait green. The request I would have from all of you is to do your own little bit. Keep Kuwait clean and green. Until next week when we come back with a brand new episode from the team of Kuwait TV2, we wish you a very good week. <laughs>